physical therapy goals for someone who has a spinal cord injury really vary on the level of the injury. Injuries are technically classified as paraplegia or quadriplegia, which you'll also sometimes hear described as tetraplegia. So with someone who has the tetraplegic or quadriplegic injury, that means there's some weakness or profound weakness in the arms and in the legs. For someone who has paraplegia, there's weakness in the legs. For people who have quadriplegia, what we can do is we can teach people to use their hands again in some cases, to work on some of those basic skills like getting dressed and getting, you know, feeding themselves, and that's where we assist our occupational therapy counterparts. We work together in teams in order to make someone as functional and as independent as possible. If someone has a paraplegic injury where they have full use of their hands and their arms, again, depending on the level of the injury, sometimes we can teach those people how to walk again. Sometimes they're going to be primarily wheelchair users, and in those cases, We'll teach them how to be um, as independent as possible in the wheelchair, including being able to uh, navigate the world, which is not a level flat surface like you'll see in the hospital, but is a very can be a very bumpy little road. So you know, being able to uh, perform skills like wheelies and going up and down the stairs in a chair, and those kind of skills are things that we would focus on.